So this is the world famous Las Vegas Strip, which ironically is not actually in the city of Las Vegas. Bummer. I know. <laughs> Viva Clark County just doesn't have the same appeal. <laughs> this is our current and our former mayor, Oscar and Carolyn Goodman, uh, tapping the keg, hashtag Oktoberfest, hashtag Vegas baby. <laughs> so Las Vegas, it's home to about a half million people living in a couple dozen casinos. No, actually, we live in vast tracts of home, just like all of you do. And most of those homes were built since 2000. We were flying pretty high, but we flew too close to the sun, and in 2008, the wings fell off. Snake eyes busted. And we woke up with a Vegas-sized hangover. And for three years, we led the world in three dubious rankings. Number one in foreclosures, more than half the homes underwater. Number one in unemployment, topping out at 15%. Number one ranking in the world in worst business climate. In the world, worse than Greece. So what did we do about it? Well, being Vegas, we did the sensible thing. We doubled down. We went all in. <laughs> we changed our business model from development to business incubation. And we sought partnerships with the private sector and with, the, with nonprofits. And one of those partners was the Downtown Project, which made a huge $350 million bet on downtown Las Vegas. And another partner, another big bet, was on a sweet little filly called Code for America. And here to tell that story is Ryan, hashtag taxi driver. <laughs> Thanks, Don. <laughs> Guys, please, please. So over the course of residency, myself and my two teammates, Lou Huang and Lindsay Ballant, worked on a number of projects within the city of Las Vegas. But our primary focus was identifying pain points of entrepreneurs and creating new business. What were their biggest strengths? Excuse me, challenges. <laughs> what were their biggest sticking points? In order to get a better understanding of what entrepreneurs went through when creating a business in Las Vegas, myself and my teammates tried to go through the process ourselves. After shadowing entrepreneurs, talking to planning inspectors, sorry, and sitting in meetings between the business licensing and planning departments, I'm pleased to announce that the Las Vegas Code for America team, myself, Lou, and Lindsay, are an officially registered film production company in the state of Nevada. <laughs> you can applaud if you want. I feel like that's... Thank you. Thanks. OK, guys, enough. All right. By going through this process, we were able to pinpoint a number of common difficulties that entrepreneurs experienced when creating businesses. But I'd like to highlight one in particular, uh, with which I'd like to talk about Michael Cornthwaite. Next slide. There you go. Uh, Michael's a small business owner in Las Vegas, owns a cafe called The Beat, best coffee in town, in the whole area. One day, Michael decided, in addition to his cafe, he wanted to open up a bar. So, like any responsible entrepreneur, he went to the business licensing department to ensure that the building he was looking to occupy would accommodate his intended usage. Business licensing, business licensing department says, you're all clear, go for it. Fast forward several months after months of renovation, about several hundred thousand dollars into this property, planning inspector drops by, tells Michael, you know what? You remember how we told you that this was OK, this building was OK? As a matter of fact, you're going to have to upgrade the antiquated fire retardant system in order to make this bar legal to be opened. So obviously, this came as a shock to Michael, given that he was already several months invested and several hundred thousand dollars in. And if he were to actually follow through with this construction, it would take an additional $100,000 in one month of closed time. So the mistake that Michael made was he assumed that the decision as to whether or not a, bu a business can actually locate within a specific property is a simple yes or no matter, when in fact it's actually a very complex decision that spans across multiple departments within the city and entails hundreds of complicated zoning regulations, parcel rules, 
and so on and so forth. The city of Las Vegas failed to provide a unified interface for entrepreneurs to get the information they needed at the time it was needed. When Michael heard, when he contacted the city, was, I've got a green light from the city. When in reality, all that was being said was, business licensing department gives you the go-ahead, but you might want to check with these other guys, right? Michael was, the impetus was put on Michael to know what decision fell where within the city process. This story and countless stories like it indicate that the city had a difficult time communicating the necessary information to the entrepreneur at the time it was needed. While in the end Michael was able to move forward with his business, many entrepreneurs don't have the luxury of time and money when they're trying to bootstrap their own business in Las Vegas. So in response to this problem, myself and my team created an application that attempts to connect entrepreneurs with relevant information before they even get started. Because we believe that by empowering entrepreneurs with the information they need up front, small businesses can avoid the pitfalls like Michael experienced. As such, our application was designed to answer three simple questions. What kind of business am I? Where can I locate my business? And how difficult will it be for me to get my business off the ground? Our application is called Development Fast Pass, and it's an insider's guide to zoning, policy, regulations, and anything else that might affect an entrepreneur from launching his or her business. It's not a cure-all for all of the economic development woes that Las Vegas suffers from, but we believe that it's a small first step in creating a city government that moves at the speed of a vision of an entrepreneur. And I think at this point, somebody's top is supposed to come off or a yeah. tiger's supposed to come out <laughs> on stage or something like that. Yeah. No. Uh, just a quick thank you, and then uh, we're going to wrap up here because this, like Clay, this clock has been at zero for much too long. So I'd just like to thank City of Las Vegas, Downtown Project, with whom we could not have, without whom we could not have done this application. Um, and thanks to everyone that contributed, and thank you guys for all your time.